Bestowed with magnificent natural and cultural heritage, Nepal is situated in the lap of snow-capped mountains, the Himalayas. Geographically speaking, Nepal is a small country covering merely 0.003% of the total land surface of the earth. It, however, has a distinct identity from biological perspectives. Despite this rich biodiversity, the rapid increase in population and soaring migration have resulted in the over-exploitation of the natural resources and environmental degradation which have caused irreparable damages to the ecological balance, ultimately affecting the life of the people associating with it. During the mid-1970s, Nepal government took the first initiative to establish national parks and reserves in the areas of biological and natural significance. Till date, Nepal has set aside about one-fifth of its total area as protected areas under various categories. However, such earlier efforts could not address the need of the local people, which instead led to various intense park-people conflicts, negating the achievements made in conservation. These realities pointed towards the need for an institution capable of working like a non-governmental organization that could supplement and complement the government's effort in nature conservation, leading to sustainable development. This marked the establishment of the present National Trust for Nature Conservation. Mandated to work in the field of nature conservation in Nepal, National Trust for Nature Conservation, popular as NTNC in short, was established in 1982 with the name King Mahendra Trust for Nature Conservation, KMTNC, by a legislative act as an autonomous, non-profit and non-governmental organization. Keeping in view the economic development and the sustainable management of natural resources, the mission of NTNC is to promote, conserve and manage nature in all its diversity, balancing human needs with the environment on a sustainable basis for prosperity, ensuring maximum community participation with due cognizance of the linkages between economics, environment and ethics through a process in which people are both the principal actors and the benefactors. To achieve its mission, the Trust has successfully undertaken over 200 small and large projects on nature conservation, biodiversity, as well as cultural heritage protection, ecotourism and sustainable development. The Trust's experience in small economies such as Nepal cannot be successful and much less sustainable unless the need and welfare of the local people are addressed. Geographically, the projects of NTNC are divided into three geographical areas, the subtropical plains of Chiton, Bardia and Kanchanpur, the mid-hills Kathmandu Valley and the Annapurna and Manaslu region of the Himalayas. NTNC has implemented its programs only after detailed analysis of the needs of the local people, aspiration of the community, their capacity and the possible opportunities. Hence, the Trust has taken cooperation and coordination among concerned stakeholders as its main principle. Situated in the southern part of Nepal, this plain land stretching towards India is called the Tarai region. Currently, NTNC is working in this region through its integral bodies like Biodiversity Conservation Center in Chiton National Park, Bardia Conservation Program in Bardia National Park, and Shuklafata Conservation Program in Shuklafata Wildlife Reserve. NTNC is working in coordination with the Department of National Park and Wildlife Conservation and the locals. 
initial activities of NTNC in this region were focused on conducting biological research and monitoring of flora and fauna. In the course of time, NTNC widened its focus and added a human dimension to conservation efforts. The emphasis has been on integrated conservation and development program with the twin objectives of applied biological research and sustainable development for local communities by providing alternative livelihood options. NTNC has been providing its technical expertise in the translocation of rhinos, census of flagship species and research within and outside the park and reserves. NTNC has been supporting the study of endangered wildlife species like elephant, rhino, tiger and their preys, sustainable conservation and management of their natural habitats, wetland and transboundary cooperation between Nepal and India. Similarly, it is also working for the conservation of endangered vulture species through captive breeding by establishing Vulture Conservation and Breeding Center in Chiton. Besides, it has been supporting Elephant Breeding Center, Crocodile Breeding Center, as well as management of Black Bucks in Khairapur of Bardia district. Electric fence has been installed around sensitive areas of parks and reserves to minimize human-wildlife conflict. NTNC is the pioneer organization to initiate this technology in the parks and reserves in Nepal. It has also been supporting the farmers of the buffer zone in cultivating alternative crops like mentha, citronella and chamomile that are not palatable to the wildlife. Besides this, the trust has also supported the farmer in establishing oil processing machines and managing markets to the produced oil. NTNC has been supporting locals in fencing, establishing nursery, plantation and cultivation of medicinal herbs through community forest users groups under its Sustainable Management and Natural Resources program. The locals have been enabled to sustainably manage their natural resources through capacity building programs. The Trust is also assisting local youths in carrying out awareness campaigns against poaching and conservation education. It also supports green clubs of students and Environment Teachers Forum established to include students in nature conservation. Along with these, the Trust has supported the patrolling on motorboats in the Karnali River around Bardia National Park in a bid to curb poaching and smuggling timber and other forest products. It also implements various community development programs like maintaining gravel roads, construction of school buildings and community buildings, establishment of cooperatives, etc. It has also been supporting local communities to run veterinary and health centers to provide health facilities to the local people and their livestock. Income generating activities such as fishery and mushroom farming has been increasingly popular among the marginalized communities. Moreover, the communities have been gradually motivated to income generation activities and have adopted these initiatives as their alternative livelihood options to reduce pressure.